Today we're going to look back at one of the best movies of the 90s, Leon the Professional. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with a whole nother video. Today, we're going to take a little break from talking Star Wars toys or Star Wars movies or toys and talk about something different. I've been wanting to do kind of, well, I don't really want to call them a movie review because I don't really like watching movie reviews because they tell you about the movie and I don't want to know about the movie. I just kind of want to know the person's thought on the movie. Um... And these are older movies, not current movies, so I'm not really calling these reviews, but it's more a look back at some of the movies I loved. And I'm going to try to do movies maybe you haven't seen. Now, this one here is a little popular. I was going to start with Tag the Assassination Game with Linda Hamilton, but I figured most of you hadn't seen it, so let's start with something a little better. And I kind of wanted to focus this video more on the extended cut that some of you may have not seen. We're talking about the movie that's called The Professional in the United States, or it's called Leon Across the Oceans. You may also see it referred to as Leon the Professional. It's a movie so good, I bought a whole big thick book about it. One that's written in Japanese and I can't even read. Here, let me show you what it looks like on the inside. It has some really great photos in the book. Not just behind the scene photos, but photos from the film itself. Even almost storyboarding the whole film, as you can see here. Again, Japanese, so I could never read it. Wish I could, because I bet it's a great read. But let me just show you a few more pages here. Great photos, for sure. Sure, it's not a picture book, but that's why I bought it for the pictures. Now, before we talk about the film... Let's talk about how you should support the Junk Channel, and that's just clicking that link right up there, take you to our Patreon page, Patreon page, that's hard to say. And there you can support the channel and help bring more better junk to you guys. That money fuels back into all this, lights, cameras, action, and all that stuff. Hey, that was a great Nickelodeon show. Anyway, you can also go to thatjunkman.com and buy some cool t-shirts. Now, let's talk about one of the best movies of the 90s. What's wrong with the professional? Well, for starters, the villain, Gary Oldman, he's way over the top. Danny Aiello's mobster character seems like he's acting in another movie. The hitman has some boring affectations, carrying around a plant as his best friend, even through the shootouts, and drinking nothing but milk. The girl is presented as a bit of a tart, and it adds up to a stylish mess. Well, Gene, I agree with everything you said about the movie. Oh, Siskel and Ebert, what's wrong with you guys? First, you give a thumbs down to Reservoir Dogs, and now you're giving a thumbs down to Leon the Professional? <sighs> I don't think there's many movies in the 90s that touch me as much as this film. This movie is one that the adult junk man loved as much as kid junk man in the 80s loved Star Wars and maybe Indiana Jones. When the film was released in September of 1994, I never even heard of it. Didn't even know it played in a theater, knew nothing about it. That was until I started reading about it on message boards and internet news groups, where everyone really seemed to praise the film. At this time, I was in my early 20s and really starting to get into the independent movie boom of the 90s with movies like Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Clerks, and many others that I can't think of right now. So when I went to my local video store in early 1995, I rented The Professional. The movie stars Gene Reno as Leon, the hitman, or cleaner as he calls it. He is a loner and keeps to himself. That is until a 12-year-old Matilda Lando shows up crying at his apartment door after her family is killed by rogue DEA agents after her father is found cutting their cocaine to keep some for himself. Open the door. Leon lets her into his apartment, escaping danger. However, doing so, he wonders that he just caused more problems for himself. So much one of his solutions that night is placing a gun to her head, getting rid of the problem. The next morning, Matilda discovers Leon's guns and that he's a cleaner. Matilda comes up with a great plan for Leon. 
That's for him to train her to kill the DEA agents that killed her family. In return, she will work for him. How's that? Leon and Matilda form a close bond as he trains her how to assassinate her targets without being caught. Leon starts to track down the DEA agents himself, unknowing to Matilda. Upset it's taking too long to get revenge on the DEA agents, Matilda takes the matter into her own hands, returning to her old family's apartment to get hidden money to pay Leon to do the job. After leaving her apartment, the DEA shows up and she follows the lead agent back to headquarters in an attempt to take him out herself. What filthy piece of shit did I do now? You killed my brother. The rogue leader of the DEA agents is Norman Stanfield, played by Gary Oldman. And is Gary Oldman ever bad in anything he does? One thing I love about this character that's kind of just odd is he has this weird drug tick when he ever takes his pill. I'm not really sure why he does it. It just gives the character a little bit more craziness that's needed. What's great about this film is the relationship between Leon and Matilda. A few years before the movie, Leon was in Italy where he had fallen in love with a girl from a wealthy family. And they had plans to elope. However, when the girl's father found out, he killed her out of rage and escaped justice. Leon took revenge, killing her father, and then fled to New York City. Since then, Leon has kind of shut himself off until he meets Matilda. And over the course of her training, the two bond into somewhat of an odd daughter-father relationship. I want you to stop cursing can't talk to people like that all the time. I want you to make an effort to talk nice. Okay. And I want you to stop smoking, okay? Okay. The film we all saw in the United States was missing about 25 minutes cut from the international release. And this 25 minutes is needed. Not only is it used to strengthen the bond between Matilda and Leon, it's also used to give more of Leon's backstory and show more of Matilda's training. After a test audience screening in the US, Merrimax cut the film down. For years after I saw this movie on VHS, I heard all over the internet about the international cut. But back then, it was very hard to find videos of anything online, so all we really saw was photos taken from the deleted scenes, which made fans of the movie in the US more intrigued to find out what they missed. Luckily, when the DVD was released in the United States, it was released under Leon the Professional, the extended cut. Most of us love the U.S. cut, but seeing the cut that the director wanted us to see made us appreciate and love the movie even more. Some of the movie added back in to the U.S. release was Matilda asking Leon to have sex with her. Don't worry, he didn't. Matilda, no. Leon explaining why he had to leave Italy when he was 19. I killed her. One shot to the head. They kept him in jail for two days and they let him go free. Matilda playing Russian roulette. I love you, Leah. Leon and Matilda taking out a drug dealer. What are you fucking Never doing? in the face. If they can recognize the client, you don't get paid. Because you could take out anybody and said you did the job. Got it? Got it. Right in the face. Okay, now you can pull the tool, so... What are you fucking doing? What the fuck is going on? Hey, mister! What are you fucking doing? A montage of the training missions between Leon and Matilda. And Leon and Matilda going out to eat to celebrate their first kill. And Matilda has a little too much to drink. (laughs) 
as not only does it let us see the bonding of Leon and Matilda, but the backstory of Leon really helps us connect with the character. In the U.S. version, most of his background was only hinted at. Again, these scenes really make the film better. We never knew exactly why he was so lonely and closed off. If you've only seen this movie in the U.S. cut, please check out the extended cut. If you like the U.S. cut, you're gonna love the extended cut. Show it to me, motherfucker. The movie is directed by Luc Bazan, and this is probably my favorite film by him. Another really good one is La Femme de Kida, and I had big hopes for Luc Bazan in the 90s. I really loved the first half of his other film, The Fifth Element, but since then, I've been kind of let down with Luc Bazan. Either he's released movies I didn't like, or movies that I didn't even care about seeing. In this film here, all the actors are doing a great job, but the standout, of course, is Natalie Portman in her first film role as 12-year-old Matilda. She even stands her ground against Gary Oldman. She is perfectly cast in this role. She plays Matilda smart, angry, and fun. Fans of this movie has always hoped to see Natalie Portman return as Matilda as an adult cleaner, but it seems that's never gonna happen. Luc Bazan did write a sequel script for this, but it ended up being used for the 2011 movie about a female cleaner who goes to war against a drug cartel as revenge for the murder of her family when she was a child. Well, that's a look at Leon the Professional. I'm sure many of you out there have seen it, but I'm hoping if you haven't seen the extended cut, you rush out and get it. Sadly, I looked on iTunes and it wasn't there, but you can rent it or buy it over YouTube or Amazon and Google Play. Come on, iTunes, get with the program. I want to thank you for watching, so hit thumbs up if you'd like to see me talk about more older movies and not just toys all the time. And tell me in the comments what you think about Leon the Professional. Did you love it or were you like Siskel and Ebert and hated it? If you've seen both versions, which one do you prefer? I'd love to find out in the comments below. We'll be back again with another video. Until then, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you know when I post a whole new video. Thank you for watching. Be back very soon.